Donald Trump Jr. put out a tweet earlier this week that attacked Joe Biden and basically the entire internet united to call him a jerk for doing that and we were all right to do so. But when I thought about the tweet more, it really becomes clear that it indicates that Donald Trump Jr. is not only an awful human being, but that his father, Donald Trump Sr., was one of the worst fathers ever in terms of how he prepared his children to be decent honorable, emotionally healthy people. And so the tweet was a picture of Joe Biden clearly distraught after the news from Afghanistan, after some Americans lost their lives. And he wanted to have a moment of silence with the people in the room and the people watching all over the US honoring that tragic loss. And Donald Trump Jr. had the gall to tweet, this is what weakness looks like, or this is what weakness is, to try and imply that Joe Biden, a man showing some emotion at an emotional moment, is somehow weak or unmanly or a baby, or he's making America look soft in front of its enemies and its allies. It was just a sick tweet from Donald Trump Jr. But it's actually really sad for him because you have to think who raised him to be like that? Who raised him in an emotional framework to think that emotion from a man at an emotional moment automatically equals weakness when it could equal strength. It could equal sympathy and empathy and understanding the struggles of other people and understanding that for some, this is an extremely difficult moment and we have to honor those people and their families. Right? There's a great tweet by Molly Young Fast, who is a journalist at the Daily Beast that absolutely encapsulates why this is so sad to see. It says, sometimes it occurs to me that Junior has a very broken emotional life. And that tells the whole tale, doesn't it? Remember, this is a cycle here. This is a cycle from the Donald Trump family. Donald Trump's father was emotionally distant and it led to a man that was always craving for love and admiration and attention and adulation. And he often didn't deserve it, but he had to have it. So he would buy it through lying and through money and through manipulation and through like force to get what he wanted. And then Donald Trump pass that on to his own kids, probably his sons, especially teaching them that a man can't show emotions because if you do, you are a whiny baby loser and the world's going to stomp all over you. Whereas we see Joe Biden not afraid to show emotion either with his kids or grandkids or with the American people when appropriate. And this goes back even further. I did a video back earlier in the summer around Father's Day when Donald Trump put out a Father's Day message, or maybe it was Mother's Day, but he put out a message and he made it all about himself. He made it all about himself and how his political enemies were bad and how he was great and how isn't it a great day to celebrate me. And he didn't mention his own kids and his own wife and his own family. And it was so self centered. And so I'm not saying you have to feel bad for Eric and Don Jr. and the rest of the Trump kids. I'm not saying you have to feel bad for them. I'm not saying that their dad being a jerk excuses everything they've done and are doing. But what it does show is that Donald Trump is repeating this cycle of awful parenting, of awful family dynamics, and awful examples about how to be a good man. And you can see the next generation carrying that forward. It is sad to see, even if the people don't deserve sympathy.